Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. We've just taken a little detour from where we were supposed to go. I guess that's the definition of a detour, isn't it? <laughs> to, um, Mesquite, Texas, to come back to our old family home. Really curious what we're gonna find. Probably not much but bad memories. From the outside, the place looks very deserted. Boarded over, looks like it hasn't been taken care of. Looks like nobody's living here. I am a little bit concerned, though, that I might have to shoot something, because... Blaskowitz just... has their weapons out. Not pointed up, I can't actually shoot, but... they're ready. Do you really think there's gonna be something to shoot, Blaskowitz? I like how it looks almost as if nothing else exists, but this place. I don't know if that was an intentional artistic decision or maybe just a sort of thing to save on performance, but it's almost like this place exists in Blaskowitz's mind in isolation from everything else. Like the memory of this is so strong it's as if nothing else exists. Because you look out there and it just looks like nothing. It's like this place is a memory island. Oh, I can go into the old riverbed. I'm definitely going to take a close look around this place. Because I really want to see if I can find any hidden notes and stuff. I really wish I could put these guns away. It's very peaceful here. I'm sure it's not for Blaskowitz. Lots of bad memories here. Oh, was that when they buried the dog? This life is a hardship, Billy. It is long, and it is paved with heartbreak. You will be old before you reach Rod's end. Just remember, my boy. It will end better than it began. Now this stuff is starting to have more of an emotional resonance with me now that it's not all just dumped on my face at the very beginning of the game. Did it, 
that rat that Billy saved was the same one that we see coming around with us in Wolfenstein the Old Blood. Remember the rat friend that's just there every once in a while just keeps popping up? The same rat. I'm pretty sure rats don't live that long but I'd like to believe that was a special immortal rat. Okay, yep. Touching emotional stuff. And then a golden circular motorcycle. A mono wheel, apparently it's called. Nothing totally strange about that at all. Ruby Weber. Washington urges cooperation with Liberator squads. December 23rd, 1948, Los Angeles. Little more than days have passed since the devastating bomb hit the heart of New York, prompting the total surrender of the United States of America to the forces of the German army. The German troops have descended upon Washington. They are now sending what they call liberator squads across the country to ensure a smooth transition of power. I urge all Americans to cooperate with the German forces, said the president in a radio speech yesterday. Do not take up arms. Do not try to act out in any way against the orders of the German army. We do not, not, we do not want any more bloodshed. The atom bomb that devastated New York was a wake-up call for all of us. The war is over. Frank's letter. Rip. Oh, Rip was uh, Rip was the name of the father, right? Rip, what in the hell are you doing? I told you many times that there'd be consequences if you didn't get your business together. Your fiscal ailments are just spiraling out of control. Now, I've been a friend of yours for a damned long time. I've stood up for you more times than I can count off the top of my head, and I believed you when you repeatedly told me you would sort your act out. That you'd get the business floating above the red line again. Now, did you deliver? Hell no, buddy. You just squandered away every last bit of opportunity I gave you. That's why I'm ringing the death knell for this friendship. Goodbye and never speak to me again, Frank. Yeah, didn't, um... Oh, I don't remember Blaskowitz's mother's name. I don't remember what their name was, but... Um, didn't they say something about, like, her parents giving money to Rip? for the business. A map? Why, why is there a map of the farm? Oh man, there's some totally weird stuff going on. I would have liked to have seen them maybe be a little bit, uh, I guess, braver in pulling back the first-person shooter stuff for this this scene. Okay, now my guns are gone. That's good. But yeah, I don't think I ever should have had my guns out. I would like it if there were no collectibles here, just things to read, and I didn't have a weird map, and, you know, just strip all that stuff out. Just make this a uh, gone home kind of <laughs> kind of segment. I think that'd be more interesting. Okay. 
How am I supposed to tell anyone? Yeah, okay. I'll whisper it. There somewhere, Billy, inclined to this day to endure amongst the living. What if we met Billy again? What are the chances of that? like that. Just walk near it and you just hear a little echo of a memory, not a flashback. Like, cutscene flashback like the others. God, Rip is such a fucking piece of shit. I hope he died horribly. property, they're gonna walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you're gonna let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> On Wilma's letter. Dearest Rip, I hope that you're holding up well and cooperating with our new administration. I must say, things are looking much brighter for us now. Your uncle has been promised a new job by the regime, a janitor at the new SS building in the city center. He's very excited. It's a far cry from the machine operator job he used to have before he was fired all those years ago, but it puts bread on the table. So how's Sophia? I imagine that she's worried now, considering the circumstance. I hear the Germans have some issues with the Jews. But if she cooperates with them, everything will be okay. Anyway, hope we can visit you again this summer. Love, Aunt Wilma. Yeah, so what exactly happened with Sophia? I mean, based on uh, the f one of the flashbacks we had at the very, very beginning of the game, uh, Blaskowitz had this memory of a door. It's like looking at this door, I think pulling away from it or zooming into it one of the two and I think I think the implication from that what we heard we heard like Rip and, and Zofia talking and then we heard a gunshot I think the implication from that that I took away anyway was that Rip shot Zofia but those were also kind of feverish memories while Plasco was, was dying so I'm not sure well either way whether she got shot or taken away by the Nazis I'm pretty damn sure she's dead Lucy Cell. Oberkommandant Weschler's letter, May 1st, 1949. Her Rip Blaskowitz, thank you for expressing your willingness to cooperate with us. The more information you provide us with Jews and Deviants, their location, and so forth, the more rewards you will get for showing your loyalty. There may even be a chance to get a new place for you. In the future, I suspect there will be many vacant mansions that need to be occupied by those who are loyal to the Reich. 
I was looking at these Frank and Archibald characters that were troubling you. Looking forward to hearing from you again, Herr Blazkowicz. Ah. Nice. I mean that sarcastically, of course. Smiley's fucking prick. Giving up Sophia's parents, and probably, possibly Sophia themselves. Fragment of old news article. The larger the mob, the harder the test. In small areas before small electorates, a first-rate man occasionally fights his way through, carrying even the mob with him by force of his personality. But when the field is nationwide, and the fight must be waged chiefly at second and third hand, and the force of personality cannot so readily make itself felt, then all the odds are on the man who is intrinsically the most devious and mediocre. The man who can most easily adeptly disperse the notion that his mind is a virtual vacuum. The presidency tends year by year to go to such men. As democracy is, democracy is perfected, the office represents more and more closely the inner soul of the people. We move towards a lofty ideal. On some great and glorious day, the plain folks of the land will reach their heart's desire at last, and the White House will be adorned by a downright moron. I don't know where I just picked that up from. Hector Silver. Basement. Do I want to go into the basement? Basements are always creepy. Ah, let's go down. I'll be in the grave rotting away, and still a better daddy than you. Sebastian Dunn. Yes, weapon upgrade! Let's go for upgrading the shock hammer, the rotor one, the one that allows you to basically shoot all three barrels at the same time. More concentrated damage output, be very good against heavy enemies. On Billy's note, the paper is bloodstained and wrinkled. I swear I'll be a good boy, I swear I won't disobey my father, I'll clean my room. I don't think I want to read that. Rip and Sophia. Golden mailbox. Marty Lean. Oh. Okay. Um, apparently that was a very bad one to look at. Crash Info could not write Crash Dump. The game crashed and couldn't even write the Crash Dump. Ooh, that's a bad collectible. How many crashes can I collect? <laughs> Are there more? Let's not view this collectible, just in case it crashes again. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. 
At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. They're coming to kill Mama. All right. Here's what we're going to do. You take this. Wow. Now you and I are going down into the basement, and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun? This place is gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nary a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. I'm in this house with bad memories. So why'd you come? need a place to hide, you need money. Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, please tell me oh, I get to I kill him. I saw where you is headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I mattered. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is, you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts, Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? What happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She's gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? 
What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. Who'd you call? I heard everything. Who in the hell'd you call? Is that voice? Oh. <laughs> uh. I've already read this, right? Yes. Right, let's activate... Actually, no, there's no reason to activate that... That special burst thing, right? Nah. Not right now. I don't know what you shot me. Oh. Oh. How low on health am I? Damn. Do you want 
to love and to cherish me till death do us part? Come here. Would you like to kiss the bride now? But not before the wedding. Schenken wir Schlaf. Jawohl. Spesh? Spesh was a lawyer. His mouth. Not my problem, it stays on. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? Oh, you look like ass, man. Fuck. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen, uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got, all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get you, and I'm your fucking lawyer, that pissed me off. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator. <laughs> Popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down to the garage, where boom, body and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. Dude. Go. Fuck! That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Let's get this fucking gag thing off of you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. If we make it that far, we make it. The hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Look at Terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door, and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man! Schnitt! <laughs> 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 Gott! <lacht> Zimmermann, Sie haben Talent. Sie sollten zum Film gehen, bei Helene vorsprechen. Guter Schuss, General. Der zuckt noch. <lacht> Idiot. He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Tapfer, kleiner Liebling. Ich bin dein und du bist mein Liebling, so lieblich und 
Open your mouth. I'm gonna go down there now and join in on the fun! Anya. My family. Weeks pass. Or more. Feel myself slipping away. Got me praying for the end. For theft and destruction of public and private property. Aiding the enemy. Torture! Terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad. And high treason. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil. And it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as death. Death, Mr. Blaskowitz! Nothing but swift, sheer death! <laughs> Bailiff! I could walk? About the suit? I mean, I'm gonna die because it's on very, very hard difficulty, but that surprised me. I I must have recovered a bit more than Blaskowitz thought, because uh, at the very beginning of the game, he wasn't able to walk at all. He had to grab his legs with his hands to move them into the the, the uh, footrests for the wheelchair. Well, that's good. Oh, I hope I get to kill the fucking judge. Oh, that's gonna be satisfying. Yeah, this is taking turns that I didn't think it would take. Uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here, though. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.